Now, while I was getting ready to do this review, I was thinking about one of my favorite manga and anime series out there. Yes, this is my favorite series because when I was watching it, it was quite an amazing adventure, funny moment, serious moment, tragedy, and it was on a uh, it was on a break for a month now. And because of it, I can't wait for it to come back. I'm talking about One Piece. I can't wait for, for this series to come back on. So, One Piece is my favorite series. I'm thinking that it's better than Naruto and Bleach. Sorry for, for Naruto and Bleach fan out there, but it's quite good. Because on the last part of Naruto series, I was so pissed, I was so ticked off because they kill Neji. We, we all know that Naruto was strong. Naruto of Kurama and uh, Olet Chakra and he couldn't escape right there when when the ten tail um used his tail to, to destroy or use his tail to actually kill or actually target him. I I was thinking seriously, Naruto is one of the most strongest person in this series. And he couldn't actually he couldn't actually escape right there. So because of it I was ticked off. So out of the previous big three, One Piece, Bleach, and Naruto is in the last place. So, I can't wait to see what's going to happen in the new episode or chapter that's coming out. Now, this new episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! is quite interesting. Although this series wasn't quite interesting as the first Yu-Gi-Oh! series till now. I'm talking from the start Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, from the start the previous Yu-Gi-Oh! series to Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush. From the start Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 to Go Rush, the anime is getting literally too childish. This anime is like for kids, for kids, um, call it 7 to 12. Because they're, that's preteen. For, for kids in the 13 to up, or for, for people from 13 to later up into the years, this anime is getting pure childish. When they're making a Yu-Gi-Oh series, if they put a little bit of comedy in there and and call it a little bit of seriousness, like they did with Yu-Gi-Oh um, GX, when you when you get a little bit of comedy in it, you get you get uh, you get a character narrating their own story sometime. But you get some seriousness in the series. So uh, this is what I was looking for in Yu-Gi-Oh series, but this episode get a little bit, get a little bit, um, call it a little bit serious, a little bit funny, but wasn't all that exciting because they were tracking or think that their the place that they were living at was haunted. This creature, call it, it's a fish-like alien creature that can combine to create a human-like stature or a human-like avatar and because of this I wonder what's gonna happen in the next new episode because it wasn't all that exciting it wasn't all that bad it was just so-so and the episode call it mm, pure boringness so I can't wait to see what's gonna happen in the future episode if will the series get serious will the series get come out of the childlike um childlike fantasy that is in right now because th I'm thinking that Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 and Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush right now is destroying the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise. So I can't wait to see what's going to happen. 